In this video, I'm going to show you how to create these beautiful glows around your emission materials using Fusion. So let's start in Blender, but you can do this in any 3D software of your choice. But as I'm using Blender, I'll show you how I set up my scene in Blender. So first of all, you can see it's a very basic scene and here's my camera. I've got some basic animation on the camera. And then we have this little robot guy. I will share a link in the description where you can download this model for free. So a very simple scene as you can see. And if we jump over to the shading or the material section, you can see that I have two basic materials on this guy. So it's basically the robot shader or the robot materials. And then I also have a very basic emission material, which is just on this little light area right here. So it's a very basic shading setup, as you can see. So let's jump back into the layout workspace. And then the only thing you need to make sure is you need to render this using the cycles render engine. And then very importantly, if you go to your view layer properties here on the side, make sure that you include your combined pass. And then if you scroll down, very importantly, make sure that you also include your emission pass. And then we're going to go to our output settings, choose a folder where you want to render this, and then make sure the file format is set to open EXR multi-layer. And then you can choose float or half for the color depth. And that will basically ensure that all your render passes, the combined and the emission render pass, will be included in that EXR render. So set up your scene and then go ahead, click on render and render animation to render your EXR sequence. Now let's jump over into Fusion. So here we are in Fusion and I'm going to create a new Fusion comp here in the media pool. You can click the media pool button right here at the top if you don't see this. So I'm simply going to right click and then select new Fusion comp. And let's just give this a name, Robot Emission and then make sure to set your frame rate and also the duration. So my animation is five seconds in duration. So I'll set this up here and then click on create. Now you can double click on the comp right here to open it in the Fusion workspace. So first of all, I'm going to drag in a background node and connect that to my media out. That will just ensure that our resolution or dimension is correct. So as you can see, I'm just working with a normal HD 1920 by 1080 render. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring in a loader node. So I'm going to press shift space to search and then type in loader like that. And then simply click on add. Now this will bring up a browser, select the first EXR in the EXR sequence. As you can see, I've got a total of 125 frames. So I'm just going to highlight the first one and then click on open. Now with this loader node selected, go to the inspector here on the side. If you don't see the inspector, click the inspector right here at the top and then click on the format tab and then expand your channels. Now here we need to make sure that we are using the combined pass. So just click here, make sure that you've set this up to combined RGB like that and then also the alpha channel for that combined render pass so now we can merge this over our background so i'm simply going to drag this and connect it there to merge it over and as you can see we can see our render now but the colors look a little bit weird and that's because we rendered using agx from blender so we need to just add a node to convert that so I'm going to add the OCIO color space converter and I'm just going to load my config file that I got from Blender. So I'm going to click on browse and then I'm going to select the OCIO config file. And then for the source color space, I'm going to select linear rec 709. And for the output, I'm going to select AGX base sRGB. And that's just going to convert our render to the correct color space. So let's move these two nodes up slightly and I want to bring in a color corrector node just to kind of color correct this a little. So I'm going to drag in the color corrector node right here and then on the color corrector node I'm simply going to change the U slightly and um, I just want to change this. I didn't really like the lighting or the look of the lighting on the original render so I'm simply just going to change the U to something that I like like that. Okay, let's rename this merge node so we know what we are doing here. So with a merge node selected, press F2 to rename. And I'm going to call this combined underscore MRG. So we know this is the combined pass. 
Next, I want to copy our render node. So I'm simply just going to press Command or Control C and then Command V to paste that. And this time with the second node selected, I'm going to go back to the format section. And here we want to select our emission pass. So for the red channel, I'm going to select the emit red. For the green, I'll select the emit green. And for the blue, I'm going to select the emit blue. For the alpha channel, we can simply select none. So now if I click on this node and I press 2 on the keyboard to view it, you can see that we only see the emission in our viewer. So next, let's search for a glow node. And I'm going to select this glow right there and add that. And then I'm going to connect this emission pass to this glow. With the glow selected, press 2 on the keyboard to view that. And now you can see we have this slight glow around our emission material. So with the glow node selected, we can go over to the inspector and we can change the glow size and also the glow amount. So I'm kind of just going to play with this and see what we get. Maybe don't go too strong yet. Maybe just something like that for now. So now we can merge this over everything. So we can take the output, merge this over right here. And for this merge node, I'm going to change the apply mode from normal to screen. Now let's select our media out and press 2 to view that node. And now you can see we have this slight glow around this area. So now we can go in here and we can make some more adjustments to our glow. Maybe something like that. You can also increase this blend and maybe bring down the glow strength. Something like that. And you can also play with the glow size right here. Then once you're happy with your initial glow, then we're going to add another glow node. And this time we're going to add the soft glow. And let's place the soft glow under our first glow. Now on the soft glow, you can do the same. You can kind of play with the glow size. You can see that you can kind of make this a little bit bigger than the original glow. And you can also play with the threshold and also the gain and see what that does. It all depends how strong you want that glow to be. Now, a cool thing about this method is we can change the color of our glow as well. So I'm simply just going to move these nodes up slightly and then I'm going to drag in a color corrector node and I'm going to drop it right here. Now, on this color corrector node in the inspector, you can simply use this color wheel to adjust the color of your glow. So you can see I can drag this out and you can kind of just choose any color that you want. So I'm going to make mine kind of green. See how that looks. And uh, yeah, that looks pretty nice. So let's just scrub through here and see how that works. And that's how easy it is to add these beautiful glows to your renders using Fusion. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. See you in the next one. Goodbye.